a little over 20 years ago. Uh, my original background was in technology. Then I go to business school. Then I find myself, I'm working at a hedge fund in Boston. 2004, I'm a year out of business school. I get married. My wife grew up in New Jersey. So all of my family from New Orleans, where I was born and raised, comes to New Jersey for the wedding. While they were staying with me, uh, my cousin, it just came out of conversation, was having trouble with math, Navia. She was 12 years old. And when I asked her about it, it was unit conversion, et cetera. I told Navia, I'm 100% sure you can, you can learn this material. If you're up for it, I'm happy to tutor you remotely when you go back to New Orleans. She agrees. She goes back. We start working together slowly but surely. She gets unit conversion. She gets caught up with her class, a little ahead of her class. Then I become what I call a tiger cousin. And I <laughs> call up her school. And uh, they said, who are you? I said, I'm her cousin. And, they, 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 and I actually convinced them to let her retake a placement exam. Because I thought, like, well, she knows her material now. And they did. And Good for she you. went from being like a for lack of a better word, a remed- like a, in a slower track to now being in a faster track. So I was like, well, this is cool. Like I'm able to connect with a young cousin. Um, I started tutoring her younger brothers. Word spreads in the family. Free tutoring is going on. Before I know it, I'm tutoring 10, 15 cousins, family, friends. You know, I saw a, a, a common pattern that they were struggling, not because they weren't going to good schools, not because they didn't have good teachers, not because they weren't hardworking or, or bright. It's because they had gaps in their learning, especially in, in a topic like math. But even, you know, part of the reason we we're having trouble in science was gaps sometimes in their math. So I started writing software for them to kind of give them practice. This yeah. was back in the day. If you had to look for practice problems on factoring polynomials, there were stuff on the internet, but they weren't very good and they were very inconsistent. I was like, well, I think I could write a little piece of software that'll generate problems for them. And then I want to keep track of how they're doing. And then that was the first Khan Academy, nothing to do with videos. 